hate guys and dolls so we're racing the natural sunlight outside it's getting dark quite quickly and that gives me that lovely August feeling this is my favorite month of the year it was my birthday month I'm 25 now I'm old I've got wrinkly knees but yeah I've got a whole huge bunch of favorites this month and I really do want to try and launch through them for you because I don't want to leave any of these out it's a nice eclectic mix of beauty and lifestyle and just stuff in life that I've been loving and I'm a favorite start off with a couple of makeup items I've been absolutely adoring the Body Shop Honey Bronzer and I finally got this. So many girls I watch have always talked about how great this is for pale skin and I've got to agree. I actually just finished filming a Nina Dobrev inspired makeup look and I used this bronzer so you can kind of see how it looks on pale skin. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a wonderful formulation. It's very easy to blend out and it gives you that nice sun-kissed glow absolutely love it I, I like it even more than the soap and glory one which has been my favorite until now this is reigning king the foundation I've been loving that is my favorite by far is the double wear Estee Lauder foundation and my shade is cool bone this is unbelievable absolutely flawless coverage beautiful finish no matter what way my skin is freaking out on the day whether it's oily whether it's dry whether it's combo this just makes it look amazing and it covers everything up without being cakey or heavy blends so well and it's a bit pricey but I really think that it's worth the money if you guys know of a good drugstore dupe of this please let me know in a comment because I'd love to try that obviously because I'm such a fan of this it's always been my mum's go-to foundation and I'm an absolute convert I think this is going to be my go-to for autumn fall uh, it just gives a beautiful look a beautiful finish adore for a skincare favorite I've been adoring the cupcake mask from lush hashtag poo face ah! <laughs> it's just great it smells of chocolate looks like chocolate it's soothing great for any breakouts and stuff that my skin just always looks amazing after using it stored in the fridge so it's really cool when you apply it to your face and that's probably my favorite part about it it's just very kind of pampering fashion favorite has been this black coat that I got from an online store called AX Paris I've been invited to an event for them in London or Manchester or somewhere and I kind of want to go back to England again for that I've been in London like twice in the past few months for YouTube related stuff but oh my god I want to go back over for this they've so much cool stuff on the website and I'll leave it linked below if you want to check it out or anything this coat has a side split in it and it's really light I think it's a great coat to wear for the transition from summer to autumn I've been rocking that bitch so much this month that I definitely just had to throw it in here onto a couple of random lifestyle favorites I I'm new to Instagram as you know and I'm living on Instagram now it's like become my little hibernation nest and I've seen this all over the place the the your tea tea tox I think it's the tiny tea 14 day tea tox this is actually a 42 bag thing of it and I've been having like two of these a day I'm not finished it yet but my first impressions after like my first week of doing this is insane this is an organic tea and the ingredients are oolong tea sickle pod senna seed lotus leaf and hawthorn berry so even though this is a detox tea it doesn't have any laxatives in it and your tea kind of like prides itself on that because that's one thing I would always be very dodge about with these whole tea tox things I've just loved this like follow these on Instagram uh, your tea their Instagram pics are off the wall people always send in like before and afters of you know their bloating going down and it makes your skin glow so much my skin has just had this weird pregnancy glow even though I'm not pregnant not yet uh, but yeah, I, I'm loving that tea a lot. I'm gonna finish it all out and then I might do like a whole video review going more in depth So let me know if you'd be interested in that It kind of tastes like grass when you first try it But then it starts to like taste like perfume like a liquidy perfume or something like that So I got used to it very quick and I also wanted to share that with you and throw it in to this video also on the kind of health and lifestyle front I got a Breville blender from my boyfriend for one of my birthday presents and been using it loads my uh, brother actually uses it as well it's so handy I'll just show you here the flask kind of screws into the machine and then you can just throw whatever you want in there 
put the top on, press it a couple of times and then you've got yourself a delicious smoothie and it's on the go so you can just like take it off, put the cap back on and bring it with you. So it's kind of like a blender and flask in one. It's just perfect. It saves on so much time and hassle and mess. It does it in literally like minutes or like, like seconds. <laughs> Let's be really dramatic. <laughs> I'd wanted this for a long time so I was so grateful to my boyfriend for buying it for me as one of my gifts. I've been using loads of random things in smoothies like almond milk, peanut butter, bananas, uh, spinach and what's that green powder? Sp is spirulina? Or, and wheatgrass, loads of random things. I just throw them all in and I do often post pictures and stuff like that on Instagram. I'll leave that linked below if you are interested in trying out a new blender and if you want one of these kind of cool ones, they'd be brilliant for back to school actually and university because it's in the flask and then if it kind of goes a bit manky and gucky during the day, you can just like shake it and it'll all just go back into a nice smoothie. Another favorite was actually a vitamin facial that I got done in Harvey Nichols and it was by a brand called Environ. I've been really liking some of their skincare so I was really interested to see like what this would be like. It was my first facial in bloody ages like the longest time and it was insane. I'll show you overlays here of like what it was like. I felt it's I, I got a bit claustrophobic let's be honest with the the white thing going over my face and um, she asked like could she put it over my lips too and my mouth and I was just not having that <laughs> but it went right over my eyes and I had to kind of sit there with it for ages. I will be honest with you I have absolutely no idea how this facial worked but I will find some information and I will link it down below. The woman was so so informed on her skincare and um, she really knew what she was talking about. She explained so much stuff to me and we did a really cool skin analysis where she kind of looked really in depth at my skin and it was a bit scary and she told me the skin analysis are done for free. I hugely advise you guys to get a skin analysis done there or you know in a pharmacy if you've never gotten a skin analysis done before. It's very insightful, terrifying but insightful. Because I don't have any like big expensive hobbies really other than you know food and beauty stuff. I like to indulge in these kind of things once in a while because it's nice, it's de-stressing and pampering and all us girls deserve a bit of TLC sometimes. And to look at like half of the film stars who are like in their 60s nowadays, they literally look 30 years old because they look after their skin so much. Treat your skin right from inside out and outside in, you will not regret it. So. Yeah, that was definitely uh, an experience. Again, that was by Environ in Harvey Nichols, which is in Dundrum here in Ireland. It's a very fun suit brand. I, I felt like walking out of there waving like this rather than like this. You know what I mean? My TV favorite has been American Horror Story. So fecked up, effed up. Oh my God, it's so good. I love shows like that that are really extremely graphic. Um, I know a lot of you watching might be on the young side to watch that but most of my viewers are over 18. Yeah definitely check out American Horror Story if you like insane things. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm now almost caught up on season two and then I have to watch season three before season four comes out and it's like ah and Zachary Quinto is so hot and so is what's the other guy I think his name is Evan Peters. Mm. Oh yeah the music and the really 80s cheesy atmosphere everything. I just love everything about it. Film of the month definitely Guardians of the Galaxy. I went to see it like three times. Obsessed. Try and combine Star Wars, Star Trek, Indiana Jones, Galaxy Quest, Stargate, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, X-Men, all those kind of movies into one and then just add in a lot of little other ingredients. Oh my god it was so amazing. The soundtrack is like one of the best film soundtracks literally that I've ever heard both the score and the actual songs just absolutely on point. I'm such a nerd guys, like I'm a total nerd. You might know that already if you watch me. I loved this movie and I would give it like 20 out of 10. Highly recommend it. Um, the ads do not do it justice. My favorite YouTube channel of the month by far has been Essie Button Vlogs because herself and Aslan are going all around Scandinavia and they're vlogging the entire thing. I've seen every single vlog. Um, I've actually watched like every one of their vlogs that they've uploaded, not joking. One of the most down to earth, warm, funny couples on YouTube. If you want a channel to watch where you feel so involved and you want to watch really natural vloggers who are extremely funny and different, then watch Essie Button Vlogs. It's 
they're such a breath of fresh air. I love her and Aslan two bits. Este followed me recently on Twitter and I literally fangirled like a psychopath. Dance, boogie boogie dance. <laughs> I love seeing other countries through people's vlogs. It's one of my favorite thing about watching vlogs and I'm getting to see some things that I would never have gotten to see otherwise. So big love heart to Essie Button Vlogs. Final favorite of the month is a book favorite and this is called The Magic. It's written, I believe, by the same author of the book The Secret. And I'm not gonna go crazy in depth into this here. I just had to throw it out there. Um, I read The Secret about five years ago and it changed my entire life. Not joking, my entire life. I'll actually insert a list here that I had written of things I wanted to happen in my life within like the next five years when I wrote the list and every single thing on that list happened because I changed my mindset and that's it the whole thing and this this book too um it's just kind of nice to revisit this kind of thinking and to read about it again it kind of ignites that spark again um the secret just basically teaches you to reprogram your thought process into positive thinking and it teaches you to utilize the law of attraction mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing um it's the way i choose to live my life and i think that what you put out you get back i believe that 100 percent because it has worked so much with me this book is basically all about just being grateful for what you do have and making you realize that you can achieve your goals, your dreams, you can live the life that you want to live. Um, and I think that's just so empowering and so inspiring. And I want some of you to go check this out. I got this in a secondhand bookshop for literally three or four euros. So um, yeah, even go to a library, get it, read it give me some feedback on Instagram, Twitter, or in comments. And thanks for watching this long rambly video, which was not meant to be long and rambly. So I'll see you guys in my next video and roll on September favorites. Bye. That's not gonna work because the camera is so far away this time. No.